$100 million. Man, he was 26 years old. You guys want to make real money. You want to live and die in the valley. We got to get out of here. Hey, you know, this party's looking a little stiff. So what are you saying? You need to amp it up? I mean, you can try. This movie I did called We Are Your Friends is a film by Max Joseph, um, starring Zac Efron and Emma, Emily Rudachowski. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and Wes Bentley, and it's um, a movie set in sort of the uh, world of music and EDM and electronic dance music. Um, I play a, a aspiring actor from, from the Valley, from the San Fernando Valley, um, and my character's name is Ali. Zach's character and I grew up together and sort of both have aspirations to sort of get over the hill into Hollywood and live that sort of dream that everybody has. Um, however, I sort of take a long curtail and, and sort of shift down into like horrible real estate and, and Zach sort of flourishes in his musical career. Basically, you know, to me, the reason I love making the movie was because it's about, it's a friendship drama about the sort of trials and tribulations of growing up together and how you maintain friendships. And I think we all have that, you know, and whatever the movie is, however it comes out with music and his DJ stuff, really that's what the heart of it is. And, and you come away sort of understanding that we all go through a certain thing, that's what movies sort of represent. I think this one does it really well. Queen of Carthage um, <clears throat> basically what runs parallel, the, the story of Queen of Carthage runs parallel to our, our story, which is about Dido and her lover. And so it sort of represents the, my sister in the picture and, and myself. And when the lover leaves, she kills herself and basically haunts the character throughout the movie, you know, until he goes to hell and begs forgiveness. So there was a parallel with, with our movie and with that story, with that history, and, and I think that's what we're trying to do, say or do is, is sort of show history from, from right now to, to back then and that there's a universal theme running through. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out We Are Your Friends coming out August 28th and Queen of Carthage, which comes out on September 1st on um, all digital platforms. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Julianne Huff is off the market. The dancing pro posted this picture to her Instagram account, proudly declaring that she and her NHL beau are now engaged. We're assuming that the snap was taken just seconds after the proposal, based on how she's wrapped in his arms looking at the bling on her finger. The 27-year-old and her now fiancé started dating in the winter of 2014 after a mutual friend set them up. At the time, a source told Us Weekly that the relationship they have works out well and they're having fun. Not to mention it was a perfect fit because she's a huge sports fan and he's an athlete. In an interview with Redbook last year, Julianne noted that her relationship with the hockey star was healthy and built on a solid foundation. She added that they've been open and honest from day one, and it looks like it's paid off. No word on a wedding date just yet, but we're pretty sure they're going to have one hell of a first dance. When you think of a rock star and a movie star taking a joyride in a convertible, Marcus Mumford and Jake Gyllenhaal in the Cars ride at Disneyland probably isn't your first thought. But put your hands up if you're glad you get to see it. Don't mind them, just two grown men, ultra-famous men, spending a day at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Mumford even got himself one of those giant turkey legs, allowing him to easily blend in with the normal traveling summertime Disney masses. What an animal! Jake then dared to meet up with Disney superstar Josh Gad. That little girl seems to have no idea she's standing right next to Olaf from Frozen. Unbelievable! Good for Jake and company. It seems they found the only place they can cruise around, all incognito, because the real celebrities around there are all dressed up in princess and mouse costumes. Looks like Gigi Hadid is taking an active role in her boyfriend Joe Jonas's career. We spotted the 20-year-old model on the set of her boyfriend's new music video where they were filming in Huntington Beach. Joe enlisted the help of social media star The Fat Jew, seen here in a tiny bathing suit, as he worked hard on the set of his new video. Joe sings with his band on stage as a whole bunch of extras in bikinis joined him, and things got super messy with the food fight. Joe was dressed in all white as he sang into the microphone, while his girlfriend wore a bikini top and bright pink pants for the occasion. Meanwhile, Gigi also had to give her boyfriend a shout out on his 26th birthday by sharing a cute picture of the two on social media. Talk about a supportive girlfriend. We spotted Justin Theroux sporting a new addition. It was, of course, his wedding ring after the star married Jennifer Aniston in a secret wedding earlier this month. This is the first time we've seen Justin since his marriage to Jennifer, so it was great to see his wedding band has taken pride of place. 
The newlywed was arriving at Los Angeles, and we're guessing his only excuse for being apart from Jen is that he's traveling for work. Justin seemed to have a honeymooners glow and kept his outfit casual, wearing a black tee and jeans with a brown hat and boots. Justin smiled on arrival, like a man who knows he's just married one of the hottest women in...